Git config add commit push pull. Ah, so complicated. Not in Grab your chip pack and let's understand it easily with some food. Hmm, now that sounds good. Uh, let's say you're hungry. So you went on and prepared a yummy soup. Oh, that tastes fantastic. But something is missing. What's this? Huh, who cares? Now it's fantastic again. But except the soup has now turned into a desert. I need soup. Stop. This is where the basic usage of Git comes into play. Think of Git like a magical time traveling stove. Each time you improvise your dish, it stores it as a separate version and if any time you mess up, no worries, you can select the particular version of your dish and go back to it. Sounds too good to be true, right? We actually have the blessing to do that in our programming world. Uh, for now, let's understand the 7 basic commands for working in our local machine. One. Git init. This is to initialize a new repository, just like setting up our magic stove or getting our utensils ready to use. Second, git config. Sets the configurations for a recipe like the user or the cook, the recipe name, etc. Now you start the cooking process. You chop the veggies, prepare the mixtures and add them to your recipe. 3. Adding this is like git add where we can add the files to be included. Here we add the ingredients to be included in our recipe. You are all done with your first version of your dish. 4. Now we do git commit to save the current version of our dish or recipe into our stove. Voila! You got the first 4 basic commands. Now you can test out and improvise the dish further and save the version to our stove using the git commit. 5. You can always see your current state of your dish using git status. This will list the ingredients you added to your dish in the previous add. 6. And use git log to see history of all your dish versions saved. And that's it. Now improvise, add, commit. Improvise, add, commit. Improvise, add, commit. Why is he acting weird? Ah! Ah! That's rat poison! Chill. We have our magic stuff. Uh, yeah, do git log. This gives the list of all your saved versions. Now, select the version you need to go back to. That's the version before adding the rat poison. Version 3. And here comes the final secret command. 7. Git revert to undo our changes and get back to the specified version as a new version. <laughs> oh, ah, Git literally saves lives. Yeah, we too want to do it. We too want to, want to try out this one. We too want to try out to add. Uh, sure, sure, sure. But that's for another video. Let's look into how to work with other chefs remotely and push, pull, merge things in the next video. In meantime, uh, why not have dinner together? I will get it for everyone. Everyone should try it. Uh, guys? Guys? Yes, we can be Do you want some?